I receive comments like this from folks who usually don't credential themselves. Now, I ask you folks, what do you think a beginner would get from something like this? Like, would they be able to cognize this? I'm looking at it right now, and uh, I have a few questions. So I look at the first uh, bit here. It's colon tilde one hyphen T H R U hyphen tilde six hyphen and then a digraph A E and then S S C P S uh, as an abbreviation scenarios. So I'm thinking whoever this is, is trying to convey six illegal syntax scenarios. Now, folks, I am constantly assessing for my own self what I think the individual's knowledge level is. Now, they obviously have been studying correct sentence structure, just no doubt about it. And they've also been studying my channel. No doubt about it. The colon in front of the tilde of the number one tells me that right off the bat. The digraph also tells me that because no one used that before I started using it. I mean, before I salvaged it. My question is here, why use the word illegal and what does that mean? Because legal, from my point of view, belongs to the fiction. Laws, legalities, that's all fiction. So when you say something is legal or not legal in the context of correct sentence structure, when for me, for one, legalities don't exist in correct sentence structure. It's all about the balance of the honor and the grace, the position of peace and neutrality, and the maintenance of rule one rule equal. Also, if you were to parse the word illegal, do you think somewhere in the continuance of the evidence that you would find a digraph in the history of that word? I highly doubt it. So these are things that this individual could probably take to heart and learn. Although, theoretically, you could make up your own words if you want to. But the issue comes is when you use a word like that, are other folks going to contract with you when you use that? Because I, for one, would not contract with anyone who uses that word. I just don't. I've made this very clear for years. So that's... What it comes down to for me, in the experience I have, feeling like a veteran here, I use what's easiest and simplest. Distill it down to the simplest form. I don't try to create more problems or more issues. I try to get rid of them. And so if that's a, a lesson I could teach to whoever this is, you keep it simple. I mean, this is... Uh... All right, so let's continue on here. They're using a period rather than a dash, which nothing wrong with that. Um, and a pronoun. So they're saying that it's illegal to use adverb verb. What are the repercussions for that? You gonna get jail time for that? Um, you gonna get fined? You gonna face the firing squad? That's some real dangerous stuff there. Is that a felony? All right, I'm just being goofy now. I just don't understand this, uh, cognize this mentality. The tax is due. 
the tax fee is due tomorrow. The tax... Oh, whoa, okay. I may have overestimated this individual's uh, knowledge level. Because looking at their syntax down here, this is incorrect. The tax is due is actually adverb, adjective, adjective, pronoun. But they have adverb, verb, adverb, verb. Is is definitely tangible contract, and I've given closure to this multiple times. So maybe they missed that video. That is incorrect. The tax fee, yeah. They're continuing to syntax is as non-tangible, which is 100% incorrect. Uh, fee, it, yep, still doing it. Um, payment of tax fee and late fee, yep, yep. All right, so I'd say they're maybe 75%, 50 to 75% being generous. Their spacing is a little interesting here. Why they would use a colon like that after the equal sign with no space from my knowledge level, makes absolutely no sense. But whoever they is, <laughs> whoever they is, <laughs> whomever they are, they have not credentialed themselves, they have not taken authority over their words, so therefore this, based upon what I've just said, to me, even though it may not look like it to most people, this is not correct sentence structure. It's very close, but it is not. Correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. Uh, like up here, they say uh, illegal sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. <laughs> so it means it's not legal. Anyways, I applaud them for taking the time, the now space, to write out this comment uh, and for participating in this page and this channel. And if they want to get closure on correct sentence structure, if they want to get full cognition of it, they're more than welcome to email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and apply for a workshop. But another recommendation I would give, another suggestion, since they're here on my channel and I guess aboard my vessel, I would suggest that if they want to learn correct sentence structure from me, they empty their cup completely and approach it with an open mind. Next comment comes from ABC, whoever that is. And they say, Justinian deception. It's game over for them because the meek shall inherit the earth. I mean, I, I'm not sure what the words Justinian deception, like the way the authors of those words actually mean it. But it doesn't really matter to me anyways, because whatever it is, it's a fiction concept and it has no impact on me whatsoever, or what I do, uh, using correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. I've been over Romley Stewart and the Glossa channel and the Justinian Deception channel for many, many times. I don't need to keep going over it. But this individual is saying it's game over for them, and I don't know what that means. Like, what game? What game is over? I mean, if whatever they're doing works for them, they're not going to prison, which, all right, I won't say anymore. Uh, they're, they're not getting in trouble with the legal system. They're not having any issues, difficulties. If what they're doing is working, bless them, more power to them. I'm a fan of what works. But whatever they're doing has absolutely zero to do with correct sentence structure. Because that guy, Romley Stewart, and probably the commenter right here, no, probably less than zero about correct sentence structure. And there is no concrete evidence that the meek shall inherit the earth because the meek shall inherit the earth. Pronoun, adverb, adjective, adjective future tense, pronoun, adverb. Dangling participle verb. Thank you. Next comment comes from Liam John Costello. And they commented on my uh, grammar audit of the colon mark hyphen lowercase k Kishon Christopher 
scenario where he and I think four other folks in a newspaper article I read were arrested last year for an attempted kidnapping of a coroner. And they say, greetings, Jason Matthew Glass. Of course they misspell my name. Why do these people always misspell stuff? And by these people, I mean people that come from the Marcus Schoen Christopher camp. I'm not in any way trying to criticize Liam here. I'm telling you what I know from hundreds of comments that I've vetted from folks that I know come from his neck of the woods, Mark's neck of the woods. They always misspell. Always. Maybe because he does. I don't, I don't know. We write to you in plain, simple English. Yes, I know. I'm fully aware that folks from Mark Sean Christopher's neck of the woods will always write in plain, simple English because they have no closure on correct sentence structure because Mark doesn't have closure on correct sentence structure, as evidenced by everything that you can read online written by him. With regard to your video audit and want to set the record straight, we have nothing to do with your relationship with Mark Cachon. No shit. Thanks for your enormous and extremely cutting grasp of the obvious. And we are not your foe. I don't have any foes that I know of. The only way that you, I would know that you were a foe is if you said you were a foe. So that's a bit of an assumption on your part, thinking, assuming what I think. With regard to the judicial notice, in good faith, it was our aim to help make the world a better place. So it was your volition. It was your aim to make the world a better place by kidnapping a county coroner? A man you don't probably don't know? A man who has a family and children? You're going to kidnap him? That, that's good faith for you? Wow. I'd hate to see what bad faith is. We see that the earth, or I'm sorry, we see that the death penalty, albeit for heinous crimes against children, can be seen as at odds with being in peace. Well, I have some views on that. However, I will not share them here. I will share them probably in a members-only video. But for me... The death penalty as decided by a group of people is completely ridiculous. But as a solution to stopping a trespass, a damage on an individual street level basis, I'm not against it. All right. It was an error of judgment, and we take back the statement and all commands in the judicial notice as we agree it is not our place to speak for other people, and each man must speak for themselves. Well done. There is a correction to make regarding your statements about the number of people in prison. Only Mark Cachon is. On a final note, well, only Mark's in prison? Well, there you go. That's very fitting. These folks seem to have, with more knowledge, gaining more knowledge, have realized what I've been saying for years about Marcus Sean Christopher. The light bulb went off and now they realize what a bunch of bullshit it is. So there you go. Rule one, rule equal. Or karma. On a final note, due to lack of transparency and failure to captain his ship, we cut connection. Well done. We hope and believe that we are all working to make a better world. Well, here's the thing about making a better world. Doesn't the world already exist? The world? Doesn't it already exist? I mean, you can make your own world, I suppose. But myself, I'm happy with the world I'm in. And yes, I mean, I like to participate with the world and things going on in it and being a positive force in life in general, yet also maintaining a balance of doing what I have to do when I need to do it. Did the world ask to be better? I don't know. It's never really spoken to me in that way. So 
I mean, to each their own. We do not look for division amongst us, but build where there is common ground. Well, amongst you folks, because you said us, and by that, I guess you mean your group that has split off from Marcus and Christopher. That's good. It's good to not look for division amongst you. It will make you stronger not to do that. And, and build amongst yourself common ground, whatever you're building towards. I don't know what that is. Oh, to make the world a better place. We wish you well. Thank you. I also wish you well. And now we have these folks' names here, and everyone there has a lowercase first letter of their middle name after the hyphen, which, as I've shown multiple times, is a violation of rule one, rule equal, which lends a bit of continuance to the evidence to my claim that none of these folks know correct sentence structure. And that is why they say at the beginning here, or part of the reason why, we write to you in plain, simple English. If any of those folks listed in this comment wish to apply for a workshop, they're more than welcome to write to me at the email address at the bottom of the screen. And also, the difference between these folks who don't have knowledge of correct sentence structure and the individual at the beginning of this video who wrote out all this stuff with colons and hyphens and stuff, these folks actually took authority over their words and put their names in. Thank you. I appreciate that, and I do, from the bottom of my heart, wish you all the best. Next comment comes from Donnell Jackson, longtime viewer. Thank you for your viewership, Donnell. And they're talking about the uh, individual known as Quality Control, who uses particles of negation in their facts, which isn't a fact anyways, but uh, they said their head, their heads definitely ain't getting any sunshine. Oh, that has to do with the, the little comment I made about quality control removing, wiping, his, wiping their nose off after they remove from RJG's butt. Funny stuff. Next comment come from C. Diddy Dog. And they say, he talks about him all the time and gives him the credit for grammar. Russell is a grifter. There are no rules in Satan's world or the proof would stand instead of the elaborate stories. Okay. See Diddy Dog. He's talking about Russell J. Gould and probably the video where I say that Russell doesn't give David any credit. I don't know who this person is. But they obviously haven't read the Operation Sheepdog or whatever it is that was written back in 2016 by a military psyops where it tells the history of quantum grammar. But instead of giving the spotlight to Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller where it should be, David's kind of like a side character. And they give Russell all the credit. And thus began, with my perception, the PSYOP of trying to place Russell where he wants to be now, which he's not, because it failed. Uh, but I think that's what they're talking about. And whoever this is is wrong, uh, based upon my many thousands of hours of watching video of Russell and listening to private conversations that students of mine and friends of mine and acquaintances of mine from all over the earth have recorded with the man. He gives absolutely no credit to David and actually badmouths him. So, anyways. Oh, should I even comment on the rules in Satan's world? Here we go with the world again. What if I said this is my world? Let's see Satan meet me down at the schoolyard at 3 o'clock. And uh, we'll settle it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not my world. Oh, and then I respond, uh, my kuleana is he talks about him all the time and gives him the credit for the grammar. Are you new to this space or are you one of his followers? Check this out. And I give a continuance of the evidence. Here's quality control. The uh, fellow who doesn't see any sunshine. 
says, you are going to end up like Mark Cashone. You just cannot stop and correct yourself. Oh, my Kuliana is stop and correct what specifically? Spell it out for me, please. Now, let me let me outline what I'm doing here. These people, the Russell J. Gould cult followers, the yes men, the butt kissers. They love to come on and make uh, accusations like this. You just cannot stop and correct yourself, huh? They say that, but they will never specify what it is I'm doing wrong. In the context of quantum grammar, if you know what a stop and correct is, what happens is, in short, is someone's making a mistake that is causing damage to someone else or another vessel, causing shipwrecks. So the person coming in saying, you got to stop and correct, better have a full tool belt and be able to teach the person who's making the error, creating the trespass and the damage Show them where the mistake is and how to fix it. That's rule one, rule equal across the board. That's what tells me that quality control knows jack shit about correct sentence structure. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to go fishing. I'm going to set them up for the final pun at the end because I know, number one, they're not going to tell me what I'm doing wrong because they have no idea. All they do is probably parrot what they hear at the weekly Russell J. Gould is sexy meeting that they have over at the Syntax Learning Center, something like that. They'll just parrot what they hear Russell say or Joey John Lester say or Muriel Metabig say or Maury Shopka or Joseph Sloan. Who else? I don't know if Gordon Michael Schiller's still with that bunch or not, but I'm just going to repeat. Everybody repeats what Russell says. So I say, stop and correct what specifically. Spell it out for me, please. And then they say, your constant bitching out against the chief and constant lying. So I have to stop and correct my bitching about the chief. That's what they call Russell because he's their chief and constant lying. You have been warned, buddy. Now they're using a friendly term. They think I'm their buddy. Once you catch a case like your buddy Kishon, your little knowledge won't save you. And now... They're belittling my supposed knowledge level when they have less than zero knowledge level, which is so funny to me. So now I'm continuing on with my, my fishing. I say, oh, what lie have I told? Please be specific. Also, I noticed that you don't mention that my grammar is wrong or anything about grammar at all. <laughs> I'm starting to put the pressure on a little bit here. And then they say, yeah, yeah, play stupid games and win stupid prizes. You'll learn the hard way. Your choice. See, that's their response. They can't tell me what I'm lying about, even though they're accusing me of lying. They can't talk about grammar because they don't know anything about it. So now I have them trapped. Watch. That's what I thought. Wipe Russell's shit off your lips the next time you stop kissing his ass long enough to comment. Gone. They never commented again. They kept bang, coming back, coming back, and coming back. And I just reeled them in and then whoosh, caught them. Gone. That's one way to deal with an interloper like that. Mm -hmm.